men like driver and trainer George Schulte. George Schulte may well be called the greatest little man in the history of harness racing. Told in his youth that he'd never have the size or strength to handle a horse in the heat of a race, Schulte immediately set out to prove his critics wrong. This gentle stroke leading for Schulte and drawing away by three lengths. The battle will be behind him for second. It's all gentle stroke. Trotting to the wire, gentle stroke and George Schulte hitting the timer in 57. And proved them wrong he did, both as a driver and as a trainer. What he lacked in height, he made up for in heart. The Hoosier native captured five consecutive driving championships at Yonkers before joining the Grand Circuit. From there, he made his way into the record books, becoming one of harness racing's most legendary figures. Schulte won Pacing's Triple Crown in 86 with the remarkable Romeo Hanover. He also captured the Hamiltonian with the appropriately named Legend in 79. He later trained Fake Left to an upset triumph in the Little Brown Jug. Fake Left hangs tough! On the outside, Western Hanover, he's got his hands full. On the outside, Survivor Go, coming to the wire. Fake left, wins the third division. Schulte finished his career with almost 3,000 victories and winnings of more than $20 million. Most impressively, Schulte won three Breeders' Crown titles. Elected to both the Hall of Fame and Ohio's Wall of Fame, George Schulte's skill and heart earned him the title of the greatest little man in harness racing. George Schulte, a legendary horseman, honored today by friends and associates with the first George Schulte Memorial.